everybody, what's up? It's Game Monster, and I'm back. And um, this uh, video is just going to be a really quick one. Um, it kind of goes off of a previous video I made, uh, kind of detailing uh, my uh, functional artillery shell, which you can kind of see mounted on the front of the uh, my Chimera chassis right here. This is actually for a future project, so it looks pretty similar to what it's going to look like in, uh, in a little bit, maybe a couple of days. Um, but uh, the thing with uh, my artillery shell is that it's a fairly short-range uh, piece. And the reason why is, let me go ahead and up the brakes go ahead and aim at the space center as always and make sure that's properly staged go ahead and fire it okay okay so you can see that the warhead separated from the main casing which is what I which is what I designed it to do in the first place unfortunately that limits its range and its accuracy to roughly building size and of course it's an artillery piece so that's I guess that's okay um, but the logical extension I wanted to make was something um, that could maintain its accuracy over a far longer range. And uh, these are actually uh, kind of based off of the Manticore missile system from Warhammer 40,000. They actually look, I think they look pretty decent. They look pretty close to it. Um, but the way I got them to function was by taking a structural fuselage in the back. Uh, you notice it's pretty much uh, completely hollow. I've got uh, eight separatrons, uh, roughly in mid-stage, around the uh, liquid fuselage. And the reason why I use that is because both ends are completely closed off. And up at the front third or so, let me see if I can back this out. Now, there we go. Um, in, in that, uh, the front structural fuselage is also a, uh, a small high-explosive warhead, similar to the one, uh, actually pretty much identical to the one used in the artillery shell. Uh, it is also mounted to a separatron. Now, the reason why I put it inside of a hollow structure fuselage uh, that's against a uh, fuel tank is so that way this thing can separate uh, when it launches and it'll still stay contained and it'll be stabilized and made more accurate by uh, being contained within the rocket body. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and launch one at a low angle. Fantastic. So we'll go ahead and double check. We'll go ahead and fire that one. That's not what I wanted to do. We'll go ahead and launch these two. Okay, and there you have it. Basically, um, <clears throat> a functional artillery shell that relies on a small high explosive warhead, and uh, you know it is actually accurate and stable. So I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll put a craft link in the description below. So uh, happy destroying the K the KSC.